Thank you for uh, uh, joining us again. Now, we're just talking about cryptozoology and we're talking about uh, Bigfoot-esque creatures over here in, in good old Blighty. Yeah. Uh, as I say, as well as that, Carl, as well as the plethora, uh, to, to, to coin a phrase again, of fantabulous beasts that we've got in this country, we've got a Barmouth, there's a sea monster, allegedly. Uh, there's an owl man down in uh, Devon, uh, and and back to Bigfoot at Walker's Wood Reven Reservoir. There was one reported several years ago, and in particular, the one that's reported mostly is that of Canic Chase uh, near Staffordshire, and this is something that's being reported by a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in that area, and day trippers to the site. There's a lot of other odd things that take place on Canic Chase that are being reported, from paranormal to ufological, all the way to big cats and other cryptological things in nature, plus personal events that people are having, psychic type events take place in them. And it, it's, it's an event, it's a place that is a hot spot for alleged odd the things. things. It's almost, you know, when you look at, if you, if you go to the Himalayas and you kind of go, yeah, I can see an abominable snowman living around there and doing what he needs to do. You look at, um, uh, you go to the Rockies, you kind of think, I can understand there to be some creature living over there. I know where you go with this. Canuck Chase is 40 square miles of woodland. You'd find it, wouldn't you? If would there you? was a big ape. Would you? Wander around if you there. wanted, if you wanted to walk through it. How many times have you dropped a pound on the side of the settee and not been able to find it? I don't have enough money to drop a pound. <laughs> if, if I drop a pound, Yvette knows exactly where that's it. <laughs> she's, she's in her pocket before it's at the floor. Um, no, I, no I, I know what you mean, but I just think if, if 40 square miles is not a great... So I just can't see it. I don't, don't want to be found, found you're not going to be found. Huh? If you're not going to be found, you're not, you don't want to be found, you're not going to be found. How many times do you go hiding from a van? It could be. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah. I, I see your point. Yeah, it, could, it could be beside other occasions. It's interesting now, numerous people over a, a period of time have reported the same sort of thing in the same area. Um, of course, you know, even, even something as small, which is, which is small compared to other places, 40 square miles, there's got to be a, um, a, a, cons a considerable effort to, to search 40 square miles, just as search and rescue mm -hmm. there can lose somebody in a, in a six square mile area. There's apparently photographing. Yeah, yeah, yeah apparently so, yeah. There's, um, I'm, I'm aware of one photograph yeah. I've got anyway, so. What, what, what's, when were the sightings at Canic Chase kind of first sighted? Is there a pattern? You know, was it when Bigfoot and Anderson's came out? No, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's been going on for years. Yeah, it? it's been going on for a long time. The last photograph that I, I saw was from um, a, a camera that was fastened to a mountain bike. Um, oh, right. And it picked up as, just as a person stopped. He wasn't, he didn't actually see it. But it, the, the actual camera on his bike did. You can go back 100 years for the first sightings of, of, of this nature. You've also got the same location, black dogs, black cats. Uh, there was even one we found evidence of, of something else at a churchyard there. Uh, which See, this is interesting. Keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is interesting, though, because uh, you're, you're talking about a specific area, mm -hmm. and there's a lot going on there, not just there's cryptozoology. I know we, we, we're jumping off the, 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 the course a little bit here, but I think it's, it's worth doing. UFO sightings, ghost sightings, True. You know, we, we, there's a lot there. Has that got something to do with it? Is it, is it a hot bed of... We have found in, in, in many occasions there are links between different areas. UFOs attached to the apparitions in some ways, uh, the paranormal, and in some ways to cryptology as well. There's a lot of links. Walker Wood was at Reservoir as well. There was a number of uh, ufological sightings over a period of time, and then there was the instances of a possible Bigfoot type. Yeah. So. But you said the first sort of sightings of the, the Bigfoot type creature, you can, all, you can go back kind of 100 years. You, we, we've got access, obviously we've all got access to now the publications from years and years ago. We can go back years and years from media publications. They're readily available and you can find the little snippets of things all through them and the snippets of them back into the 18th century. Right. Oh, sorry, 19th century. Yeah.